Winter had arrived in the island of Sodor. The quarry on Thomas's branch line was getting its last orders ready before they closed operations for the winter. However, the quarry's turntable had frozen, and their solution was questionable to the engines, to say the least. Going backwards? How is that supposed to benefit anything? At least we can still take our cars. But Toby, don't you think it's a bit odd? We can't even see the line ahead of us. Well, if you were a smart rail car like me, you wouldn't have to worry, because I don't pull cars. We've been overworked recently. You might have to do something, Daisy. Before Percy could receive a reply, Daisy swanked away. Sometimes she can be a real pain. However, Mavis's engine froze one morning. She usually did the runs down at Farquhar. Because it wouldn't start, another engine had to be called. The only one available was Daisy. She grumbled furiously about it. Me? Me? I shouldn't be treated like this. Calm down, Daisy. Mavis will soon be repaired. You just need to do the runs while you're not pulling passengers. But Daisy didn't want to pull cars. But she did what she was told, and she headed to the quarry. When she arrived, Mavis started to chuckle. At least you're not wearing a snowplow. You look very silly in that. I guess I should be happy about that. When she found out she would be pushing the train backwards, she was most annoyed. This is dreadful. My swerves will... Enough about your swerves, yelled her driver. The sooner you get going, the sooner this job will be over. The guard did an excellent job to make sure the train made it through. The train arrived at the station on time. Daisy was glad when it was over. Thank goodness. For the next few days, Daisy pushed the trucks down the line and sometimes helped arrange them for Toby. She dreaded it the entire time, and her complaining got worse and worse. One morning, Daisy made her usual run up to the quarry. She wasn't happy as usual. The trucks were tired of her constant complaining and wanted to get even. What if we loosen our coupling? Down the hill? Yeah, that sounds right. Let's do it. The trucks laughed, and it annoyed Daisy. Come on, driver. Let's get this over with. The line Daisy takes is very dangerous. There are many sharp curves and many small gradients. When they got to one of these small gradients, the trucks started their mischief. Hold back! Hold back! The coupling then snapped, and the trucks began to go faster. Daisy, wanting to catch up, hurried down the line. Quickly, driver! They may hurt someone! Daisy knew this was no time for complaining, and raced faster. She forgot, however, how steep the curves were along the line. Somehow, the trucks made it through. And Daisy wasn't so lucky. She raced around the curve and plowed the snow as she fell onto her side. Daisy sat in the cold snow. There's no luck in getting help, girl. We'll just be stuck here until someone notices. Bother, said Daisy, who now felt very foolish. Meanwhile, Toby was at the top station, and he saw the stone come in with no engine. Where's Daisy, you lot? We don't know. Toby went up the line to look. He soon found out what had happened. Are you all right, Daisy? Yes, I'm fine, just a bit shaken. Stay there. I'll get the breakdown train. As if I've got nothing better to do. Soon enough, Daisy was being lifted back onto the rails, and Sir Tom Hank came to speak with her. Many people and engines have told me you have had a bad attitude recently. I am not very pleased with this behavior, Daisy. You should know your bad attitude rolls off on others, and sometimes leads to accidents like this. If you have a positive attitude, this could have been prevented. I hope you can treat all of your co-workers. I hope this accident teaches you to have a much more positive attitude from now on. Yes, sir, moped Daisy. I know, sir. 
and she made sure to keep that positive attitude. 